Good morning, North American traders. Been a very hectic, schizophrenic trading session in Europe. You can see on this one minute chart, Euro has been up and down 30 ticks on the one minute bar quite frequently. Um, all of the cross yen similar. We had a bit of risk on. And then we had a big wipeout, and then a bit of risk on, and then a big wipeout. Going forward, we're basically saying trade less today. The market is not in the mood, and it's very unpredictable. And when we see conditions like this, we just argue and urge the people we're trying to help, which is you, to trade less. We still have one cross yen that's interesting technically. Uh, 84.50. If that does trade, that means NASDAQ is well through 7200 and we're on this massive uh, risk on mode. But I'm a bit skeptical. As you can see, the 200 day moving average in dollar yen is here at 20. There's a half a yard of 110s expiring today at 4 p.m., so that's going to make it more difficult for dollar yen cruise higher. Equities have done nothing today. They were higher overnight, but then they've just chopped around today. So we're, we have 84.50 on the radar, but we are certainly uh, not expecting it and not relying on it in any way, shape, or form. So we're in watch mode now, just watching the market waiting for it to calm down, waiting for it to become a little bit more predictable. Uh, and then we will find some good risk reward scenarios to trade. We do have some data today. We've got trade data out of uh, Canada and the US, which will be watched closely considering all of this uh, jabberwocky about trade. And then we also have uh, McCafferty out of the Bank of England He'll be talking at 5 p.m. Swiss time, so that's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But again, we're just looking, we're waiting. Gun to my head, I'm kind of, I'd like to fade this Euro Yen. So you see this, all these up days here, stopping everybody out from all these down days here. It looks to me that 130 is going to, um, it's going to hold. And as you can see from uh, our Twitter feed, we're, we're going to be up there in sort of the high 80s and low 90s selling Euro Yen today. So let's keep that in mind. Um, it's important to note, contrary to that, that the Boons have broken the 200 day moving average on 60.79. Now we're 53.4. Pretty choppy break, as you can see. Well, you can't really see it here on the hourlies, but you can see it on the one minute, I guess, which is a pretty unreliable chart, I have to say. So we traded to 76, up to 95, 79, 88, 63, 87. Same kind of chop in the spoons as we saw in the euro, which I guess makes sense. Um, but as long as this thing is below the 200 day, we're a little bit more cautious on the euro yen. So ideally, we want boons above 80. Um, and then we will try and chop some wood on the short side of euro yen. Basically looking for some more bad news coming out towards the back end of this week. But for now, um, rates in Europe are higher, which is keeping euro yen at close to its highs, 129.52 as we speak. Um, again, we are in watch mode. Be very, very careful today. The market has, is angry and is not reacting in its normal ways. And when this happens, just leave the room. You don't have to play every single day. You don't have to play every single uh, session. So let's wait for something really, really spectacular to show up, and then we'll trade that. And until then, we are in waiting mode. All right, sermon over. I will see you guys tomorrow.
Ciao.